I don't know. Oh shit, Casey, you're not my group. Nigga, you said you were done. Oh, I thought we were still playing because you said no, no, no. I said no, no, no. I was gonna still play. You weren't there. <laughs> Well, okay, I'll queue up after this game too. Then that will be my last game. Fucking shit, nigga. Hey, nigga, we got a lot of wins though. We got a lot of rage too. Hell yeah, I got a lot of rage because they're terrible. We carry them and then they play very badly. Uh, the Twitch threw and the Warwick threw because every time he could be team fight, he was talking about let's focus. Okay, who's the best person to focus down? Somebody fucking Warwick with his all, right? And this nigga's like fucking up top, dicking off. So anyways, like I said, the big thing is, it's just, if I have a 65% win ratio or 70% win ratio, I got to always remind myself, no matter how good I play, I'm expected to lose three games out of every 10 matches. If I'm playing like eight or nine matches row and I haven't lost, then I know I'm destined for a lose or a loss. Hopefully none of that, the, my three losses doesn't occur through my promotional shit, but I mean, it happens. And plus, when you duel with somebody, you're put with really bad people. <laughs> Because as a duo, you're expected to win, which is pretty fucked up, but I mean, that's just how it goes. See, NAR just died on top lane. Like I said, that's why I don't like NARs on my team, because NARs are pretty bad. Most of them are. I don't, a lot of people say NAR is great, but he's really not that good. Uh, I think you could, well, I think if you're, if you play him good, you can, but it's like, eh, a lot of people don't know how to play him, especially at this low ELO. I don't, and I can't imagine they would know how to play him well. What did you say? Who's a black bitch? So fucking angry. We won a lot of matches. You started the game without me, nigga. I didn't know that shit. Yeah, you did. All you gotta do is look. Oh, I'm not in a chat room. Why nigga, I am start? dyslexic. I've been playing this shit all day, nigga. All day. I know. I was watching. I laughed. I and then I had to run and uh, <laughs> I had to go fucking uh, <laughs> go to my friend's party. Came back and started playing. I'm fucking tired as fuck right now, dude. I shouldn't be playing like this because this you should not be playing when you're tired. Because if you play tired, you lose percentage on your chance to win. Then, Nar is shit. You know, Nar should not be played like by anybody. Nar is terrible unless you're nigga. If you, if you uh. Nigga, 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 nigga. I'm 100% nigga, nigga. <laughs> nigga. Uh, Nar is fine if you know how to play him. It's like Fiddlesticks is fine if you know how to play him. Cho'Gap is fine if you know how to play him. But there's certain champions, like, you just have no business playing unless you... He's uh, To me, Nar is a complex character. You don't play a fucking Nar unless you know what you're doing. Nar was shit. Nar is shit. That This ELO, which is still... Oh, we'll get, we're getting gold people from last season or whatever, but... Um, that's just how it goes, man. Just some motherfuckers just suck. <sighs> oh my gosh. Another death. Zero two. I don't understand. Bot is doomed. So oh, already touched down. This nigga here. And also in your um, promotionals, they put you with really bad people too, so you really gotta be in your game. This is my promotional. I should've went to sleep and woke up and ran my promotionals instead of playing them, but it's too late for that shit now. But I mean, that's just how it is. Now Alistar is going emo. And he always complaining about you don't need a CS. So now since Alistar starts talking shit, that's going to decrease our chance of winning because now Ez Easy has a higher percent chance of like wanting to leave the game or not try because somebody's being bad mannered to him. You know, that's why for the most part, if I'm in a bad mood, I, I, I'll say some shit every once in a while, but I really shouldn't say nothing at all because you're better off saying nothing as opposed to saying something. Or if even somebody makes fun of you, you're better off not saying anything because it's not going to help your situation. So you got Nar on Kill Jarvan. Nar's not worth that much, so that kind of might help him out a little bit. He just died twice. That's okay, though, uh, considering that he got the kill on Jarvan. That's okay. 
I'm just trying to rush level 6 so I can camp bot lane. But it depends on whether or not Easy actually wants to play now, because if not, then he'll just get annoyed and shit and uh, be mad at Alistar and shit, you know, and just be like, oh, well, fuck you, and that doesn't help the team, and it just makes things worse. <laughs> hey, what's up, Wysel? So? Yeah, you could play, you could, yeah, but I mean, like, if you want to play Gnar how he's supposed to be, you need to play him damage aggressive and carry. You're supposed to carry from the top lane. Even if you, if we're talking about carrying, you need to carry. But I mean, yeah, I'm not saying Nar has got a good choice, but if I had a choice between picking a Nar or a Riven, I'd pick a Riven. To not do so would be crazy. Because Riven's really good. She would even she can just shit on a lot of stuff. Like I'd rather have a Riven than a Nar, because nine times out of ten, the guy who's playing the Riven can get by. And Nar, you gotta actually have a lot of practice and play a lot of games and shit. A lot of people who play ranked are pretty fucking volatile. Like, the thing, I play, if I'm mid or top, I play Cho'Gath. If I'm jungle, I play Fiddlesticks or Natalia's or Volley Bear or something like that. Um, if I'm bottom lane, I play Sivir or Misfortune. I really need, or Miss Sivir, Misfortune or Jinx. But I, sh I really got to practice more than Sivir. But Sivir never usually gets banned. And if for support, I can play Nami. I can play Leona. I can play, uh, play Teemo. But Teemo, to me, is really not support. I mean, when I play Teemo, that's just straight me just going for pure damage <laughs> like I, i'd rather go teemo dps on bot lane because i don't trust my my homies like see like he's pushing again he got killed again alistar got killed again this is just a lot of bad people and shit like that and uh now nar he's getting camped so what he's gonna do is he's gonna start blaming me for getting camped and he's gonna be very toxic and shit like that and he's gonna blame me for their downfall also same thing with bot lane they're gonna start blaming me because they're frustrated and that's just how it goes and shit like that so i mean that's normal you know, I, I, I wish it wasn't, but, I mean, what can you do? That should have been a double kill, but she got lucky. Whatever. And see, now Alistar is being hella toxic and shit. Um, and being... Fucked up and she so Sal so see now um Blitzcrank or Alistar is gonna be negative. He's gonna blame his AD carry, he's gonna blame me, he's gonna blame everybody else except for himself, and then it's just gonna make the game worse or make people get mad and upset and not want to play the game. But I mean, you know, now so the only thing I can do is just keep doing what I do and keep camping bot lane and do the best that I can and try to secure some dragons and hopefully I can snowball. Hopefully bot lane gets over presumptuous of the self just like they did and I can just basically capitalize on their stupidity and snowball, snowball myself and carry. You can't really trust anybody in this game. You have to play by yourself and I mean it sounds horrible but you gotta play selfish. It's just that's how League is man. And I know they don't like that but it is what it is. So I got 32 seconds to my next alt. I'm just trying to CS get enough so I can get my boots and if I can get my boots that'll be perfect but I don't think I'll have enough chance to get my boots um, I need 1100 for my boots well I'll have enough for my boots but I also need to buy a pink ward so I'm gonna be by the time I, I should have been on back to town bought the boots on my way to bottom right now but I really I desperately need to make sure I have that ward because I do not want to fuck up this gang so I got 1400 1500 I'm gonna have to kill the frog to make sure I have enough money so when I get down there I can pink ward the shit You. Your mama. Oh, okay. What did she Cause say? Because her pot, because her pot, because her, her pot roast is terrible. Oh, that shit is terrible. So Nar is at top lane. Nar should have basically left the tower, but he didn't. Now he's gonna blame me because he's getting camped, and he complained openly that he's getting camped. So now what they're gonna do? Because they know that he's on Tim. Uh, they're just gonna basically just keep, you know doing the same thing over and over again because they know he's on tilt. Now he's going to blame me, so now he's typing more than playing, so now it just gets worse and gets worse. So they know I'm there. So I'm going to take out this ward. And that's that. They're not going to engage with me possibly being there. So if they could push the lane or something, that'd be great. I'm just going to wait here for a little bit. 
Hopefully they try to be aggressive and do something stupid. I just want to get Kate. So they might, they might, they might do something. Here it goes. So here they come. They need to... I don't know why you're chasing Kate. That's really stupid. When you can lure them to me and shit. Got her. Got her. I got the double kill. So now that I got the double kill, so now I gotta try to do is ping dragon. Because we really need to take this dragon because we're behind. I'll sweep. And this is all I can do. So even though Nar's yelling at me and he's mad, he's a lost cause already because he allowed himself to be put on tilt and shit like that. Here comes Jarvan. He's gonna maybe try to go for a steal. I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna fear him. And then I shut him down for that. Now it looks like he's going to be trying to do damage on me. I die. But if they play it right, they should be able to kill the bird, no problem. The bird should die, but they're bad, so they flashed. The Cassiopeia probably wasted her ult at that stupid moment, so they could have got the bird. But, okay, they got the bird right there. Now they need to basically just do as much damage as possible. He should keep hitting if he has life steal runes to kill the bird. The bird should be dead. Cassiopeia got the kill. That's fine. I died. That's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get my Seekers on guard. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Vision Ward, and I'm gonna go back to just CSing. And once this gets down again, I'm gonna go ahead and camp bottom again. I'm just gonna keep camping bottom. Not as fine, but you just build not very tanky, and you CS like a crazy man. I take Flash and Teleport, and I usually just try to only gank when I do have an ult. And I usually try to only gank uh, uh, when I do have an ult. Or just basically teleport in and do shit. Now, I can go defend that top tower, but I'm not going to. Because Nar is really angry right now. He's mad. He's frustrated. So now he's making a lot of mistakes in the on Sun Tilt. He's blaming me for everything. So now he's 2-5-0. and zero, And then he's going to start blaming me some more. And that's normal. Because that's what people do. People don't like to be accountable for their actions. So they like to blame everybody else and stuff like that. However, I do see an opportunity to get this kill. If he is stupid, I think he might be. But I think he's going to leave. And he's very stupid. I hope she doesn't scare him away. Because she might. Got him. And that's fine. So I got a kill right there. I wanted to use that for bot lane. But I mean, it is what it is. And uh, I mean, that's just how it is, man. People don't want to take responsibility for their actions. And everybody just likes to blame the jungler. Now, he might be able to make a good play off this, I hope. Because Nar's coming from behind. But he's not Mega Nar right now. So they should focus the 80 carry down. Nar should get Thresh. Got the kill. Good. Good. Very good job. So now I can go back to CSing and just playing safe. You know. Now I don't agree with about that. A lot of people say the meta doesn't matter. If you're a bad player, the best thing you do to increase your chances is to play overpowered champions. That's what the Koreans do. So if you're a bad player and you're at silver, if you're at from bronze all the way up into even diamond five, we'll say diamond three. If you are, even if you're like really good with a certain champ, odds are if you were to practice what's the strongest in the meta, you would be even a better player. As for instance, Mordekaiser. You might be a real good Mordekaiser, can get Mad Mordekaiser to platinum or get Mordekaiser real high up there. But if you play what's in the meta, which is a Cassiopeia mid, or you play a Ari mid, or I'm, I forgot what's the other god tier for that. If you were to play the OP shit, you would be that much of a better player. You would be that much further ahead. Because you're playing OP shit. Just like, let's say, Yasuo's number one mid, hypothetically. If he was the number one mid, right? Yasuo is the number one mid. And you pick uh, another champion. Any champion you pick is uh, it's okay, but the big thing is, what you have to realize is One second. I gotta play this safe. I gotta back the fuck off. So like I said, Yasuo's, let's say Yasuo's the number one pick. Let's say Yasuo, Cassiopeia, and Ari, just for examples, are the best picks. And you pick something out of those top three, I guarantee you, if you get really good at a character and you pick one of those top three, no matter how good you are with Mordekaiser, right? 
If you just practice one of the top tier three, you will get a better win percentage. A better win percentage means more wins, more wins means when you climb faster. It's ranked. It's a doggy dog world. It's fucked up. It's like Diablo. You know, it, like if you don't respect the meta, you get fucked up in Diablo with the with the greater risk system. You have to exploit and do a lot of stupid shit to get ahead. I don't like doing it, so I choose not to participate in it because I don't want to succumb to what the game is. League of Legends. To succumb to the game, you have to play the most powerful champ possible because everything you do increases your little small percent chances of playing better. Because I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're the best Mordecai's in the world, the best Mordecai's in the world will get shitted on by the subpar Riven. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it goes. I don't make the rules. Or I mean, sure, he could probably still have a good win percentage and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you're using all this time and effort on this champion who can't carry. This champion who's not the best. If you just pick OP shit, that wins, at least in solo queue. Now, in group team play, it's more about picking champions who can fit your team diversity or however you're trying to run it. If you're trying to run a certain type of team comp, it's whatever team can run the team comp the best. So you might try to have like a disengaged team comp. Okay, you need to play the best disengaged champions and play the ones that synergize the best. There's always the best of something. And see, that was terrible because none of my champ team is there. So, like, I got easy at bottom. I shouldn't have did that. I should have focused on more of a squishy target. I should have went after Caitlyn. You got Alistar coming up mid. He's only level 8. He's not gonna really going to do much. Their support's at level 9, so they're beating us out on levels. It looks like everybody's trying to make something happen. It looks like easy just might end up with the death. We got three people down. It's just not looking good. They got four people up. Here comes a mistake. Alistar goes in. Easy's not going to get caught. Easy can get out of there. Alistar sacrificed his life for no reason because he's a bad player. So Alistar, who is very negative and very horrible, surprise, surprise, he's a bad player. He makes bad actions. He just doesn't give a fuck anymore because he already gave up and believes the game is hopeless. And then plus on top of that, he goes ahead and chastises Easy and makes Easy feel bad about himself. So now Easy's not feeling the greatest about himself. And this is just how League of Legends goes. So that's what I tell you. You can play the best champion in the world world but you can't make up for people who are fucking just either bad players or have bad attitudes or who do fucked up shit like that so you need to play the most strongest overpowered champion so that not only can you overcompensate that shit you can deal if they want to play bad or they do shit like that or you know stuff like that happens or if they want to play really if they want to be really negative and horrible if you play an op champ op champ can pull you back into the game and save the team regardless of how stupid they are now, right now, I want to go with them, but I really don't. I'm pinging for them to come back and not do stupid stuff. You see, the Alistar doesn't care. The Easy, he's on till he doesn't care. Now, he comes in. He gets dealt damage and stuff, so now I can see if I can do anything, but that's not enough damage to kill. There goes Nar. Nar's not going to do much. I got about nine seconds. I'm trying to get him. So, I got her. I don't know how I got a triple kill. I got lucky. So hopefully that gives my team a little bit of mo uh, morale. Hopefully they shut the fuck up and they just deal with this shit. But this is what you deal with all the fucking time. So now I'm going to try to get away from this bird. I didn't. Whatever. I got four kills. So that's fine. Uh, Cassiopeia can probably get the bird. I hope so. Do her little ult. Do what the fuck she got to do. Hopefully the bird has his egg up. I don't think it's gonna happen. Let me see here. Bad, bad. See, it's just bad players. If they would have maybe been a little bit more patient, maybe if they didn't chase, maybe if they would be a little bit more positive, maybe they may, then maybe they would make more intelligent decisions. But this is what this is this is why, in solo queue, you you have to play the most OP champ. You have to play the OP champ. You know. But if you want to try to play off carry meta, you decrease your chance. I'm saying like I'm so I'm not saying that you can't carry with it. Mordekaiser might have a 60% win rate, but if you can play Ari and she has an 85% win rate, don't be stupid. Play Ari. Because when your team is down and people are being stupid and they're being fucking negative, the Ari might have that little bit of extra win percent to give you that little bit of higher chance to win the game. So like I mean it sounds horrible. But, like, yeah, I, it, that's just how it is, though. I don't make the rules, man. I just listen to what the Koreans say. The Koreans just say, play the most overpowered shit. I just play the most overpowered shit. 
they're the best in the world in this game. And if anybody wants to argue that, I ask you, like, okay, over the last season, so what? Eight, which nationality has will have won the most? Well, I think one time, but basically the Asian gamers are basically Korean teams. They dominate. You know? So now it's just, it is what it is. So now I got my ult back up, but now it looks like my team is about to do some stupid shit. So I'm going to throw out a silence. Three, two, one. Nar is doing some good work. I got to pick my target. Which is Wukong. I was able to put him down and silence him out. 258, we got Baron up. The only thing we can do is push this tower. They got two two down. Really nice ult. I don't know who ulted, but I think Nar ulted. Yeah, he hit a lot of people, so that's good. And now we can take a tower. Yeah, Rumble's another top. Rumble can get you all the challenger. He's really fucking crazy. He doesn't need that many items to do well. As long as you can land your ult, that's another good example of what's a top tier ult. Or a top tier, like, uh, fucking, um, uh, of a champion that you should select. So, like, when people complain and they say, like, hey, look, man, I, I can't carry. And here's the most harshest reality. I people always blame everybody else for their problems. And let me be honest with you. Yeah, it is true. A lot of games, you will get fucked over because of your team, and you will not be the, you will not, your play necessarily won't be the reason why you lost the game. But here's where the fucked up part comes in. It doesn't matter. Solo Q doesn't care if your teammates are bad. You have to be so good that you can carry them. You have to be able to, the name of the game isn't, you know, hey, look, I got 10, 5, and 3, but my team lost because they're so bad. No, the name of the game is like being so good that you can carry your whole entire team no matter how bad they are. No matter how bad they are, I can carry the whole entire team. So now Alistar's going back, are they gonna push? They're looking to the side to make sure I'm not here, which is okay, and I'm just gonna sit right here, I'm just gonna wait. Bird doesn't know I'm there, I'm gonna try to ward. I bet he got the ward right there. No, they don't, they're lazy. And I'm also going to sweep where my bird's at. Well, I don't have to sweep because once I kill the bird, it will let me know everything. Yep, they have a ward here. So they know I'm here. So you see how they're backing off because they know better. But they still want to get gully. This would be hilarious. I think Cassiopeia is coming, but she's not really. So they're going to back off. So they're getting smart now. So they're now they're starting to ward places where they know I'm trying to come in at. Looks like we'll be able to get Wukong. I'll see if I can fear him back off. If they try to do anything, they'll die though. I'll just ult. So I'm just waiting. Let's see if I can... Okay, we got that. Let's see if we can get the bird. Now nah, bird walls off. Like I said, I'm just... only thing I need to do is just make sure I ult when I need to. Because ulting will make a big difference. So where are they going? Which way are they going? Do I need to ult? No, I don't need to ult. I just need to silence. So now they're silenced. One guy feared. They couldn't fear. They're dead. Bird's gonna die. Didn't have to waste my ult. I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm still locked and loaded. You know, and that's what I have to do. Yeah, it's, it's late. So now I have my hourglass. So I'm going to dive on the corner. I'm going to kill her because she needs to die. Uh, better not. Now if they want to chase, they can. But we really should probably yeah, get out of here. No, she's going to get caught. They're gonna do something. They could bait. I better just step out here so they don't wanna do something. And we'll leave and get the other shit. We're looking pretty good. This is gonna put us up on two dragons. Oh fuck, I missed my smite. That's terrible. We need to get the fuck out of here. And not fight. And get my birds. I don't want them getting a free ward. Uh, they're chasing really hard. They are chasing really hard. Does she have ult? Are they thirsty? Now, I'm looking at Kate right here. She's pushing. And I don't think she respects what's going on. Okay, she just warded right there. I'm pretty sure she did. 
and I can't ult on that because it's not safe and I don't have the rest of my team, so I need to wait. Nars pushing top, very stupid. Very, very stupid for him to be pushing top. You see how stupid that is? We have a whole team fight right here, he's pushing top. So it, even though you see sometimes like, oh, we're doing great, we're doing good, this is the kind of shit I talk about. Like, you know, you take five steps forward and then you take like 10 steps back. I got out. I got lucky right there. I got real lucky. Cassiopeia is charging. Here comes Wukong. Here comes Jarvan. This is about to be a very bad time. He's going to go in. K gets the ult in. Here comes broke ass Alistar. Here comes Easy. Here comes Nar. And Nar just wasted his time. So now he was pushing top for no fucking reason. Now Nar wants to come back and he's pushing the top like an idiot. So that's what happens. So now we're fucked. So hopefully I gotta try to make it work with this next ult and see what's going on. Hopefully no one's here smart enough to try to ward here or anything like that. And I hopefully they'll put a ward there so I start auto attacking the shit. I don't think they're gonna push when they don't know where I'm at. Now they're all scanning where the fuck is fiddlesticks but I'm inside the wall which is good because they'll go back. There is no dragging up. There is no bearing up. And this nigga's just being stupid. He's trying to bait, but, like, this is kind of stupid. Like, baiting him towards me, just, like, just let it go. Let him take the red. Let him take the shit. And now you're just being real stupid. Like, that's... He doesn't need to do this. But, see, like I said, this is the kind of people you deal with in the fucking solo queue all the time. It's, like, it's fucking stupid. Like, you don't need to do this. Got the word right here. Cool. They ain't gonna take the red. Aniva locks us off. That's really good. He was stupid. But he got the, uh... Flash off, that's fun. You know? So we'll just see how this goes. I don't know. I should go take my blue. I don't know why I'm following these niggas. Okay, you got him. That's fine. You got 317 on drag. They're wandering everywhere. Hopefully Cassiopeia takes the blue. And she's not stupid and she takes it. Now we got Alistar. And we got Nar who can't do shit by themselves, doing some crazy shit they don't need to. Maybe they're a duo. Don't know. Have no clue. Mm -hmm. So, 4-3. I don't know. I probably have a ward right here. If I was them, I'd have a ward right here. So I'm gonna just sweep right here. No, no ward. So I'm safe to set up here. And wait for them to do something stupid. But I don't think the other enemy's team is stupid. They're, they're kind of catching on to what I'm doing. Jarvan is warding over here because he's wondering where the fuck am I at. And Jarvan's coming around the roundabout. Get the fuck out of here. So I'm just basically waiting for him to do something stupid. I got a flash so I can stay kind of back. I can't get caught if I get caught or fuck my team. So we're just kind of we're just kind of dancing right now until somebody makes a mistake. Till somebody gets caught out. And that's all that's going on, really. So now they're gonna come over here and they're gonna ward to the side because they know better. So now they're kinda respecting my fiddlesticks because they know if I land in all this, GG. So here's this goes. Now, if our team can clean up, that'd be great. I don't think we'll clean up. We're actually probably going to lose this fight. It depends. No, Easy got targeted. Okay, he peeled. Can you get Wukong off Easy? If Easy can get. Uh, they just need to leave. Just leave, 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 just leave. That was, that was real stupid. Cassiope shouldn't have stayed around because she hasn't been making plays all game and she thought she could. Like, let's get the fuck out of there. We would have broke even. That was okay. They didn't get nothing out of it. Hopefully, no one else dies, but they, they might. I, you know, I did the best I could. It's fucking stupid, dude. It's just, you know what? The thing is, it's frustrating. It's it's just people's attitudes I'm, I'm noticing that affect a lot of this shit. Like, you guys might see me cussing and saying shit like, oh, fuck this, fact this, blah, blah, blah. But I usually, for the most part, don't try to type it because it's, it doesn't help anything. It's stupid. So now, 
I just gotta basically just not make any mistakes and land all my ultimates and we should win. <laughs> if I really want the win, I'll land all my ultimates. If not, I won't get promoted to S1. We're currently in S2 right now. I just got promoted from S3, climbed up points. It was real easy. But when you duel with somebody, it sucks because they put you with people that are really bad. So now we got seven, six seconds on the dragon. Looking pretty good. I'll sweep. So it looks like we can set up for this dragon quite well. See, I'm getting him down to 800. We need, just need to focus down the dragon real quick. Easy dragon. Got it. We are up to three dragons now, so that's nice. Take a little scuttle crab, and then we'll be done. Scuttle crab's down. Good. So, I gotta just sit here in the bushes, try to be a G. Oh, they got him. I gotta, I gotta peep the situation. There goes him, which means I can't fight because we got a very bad fight. She don't got his ult. All I can do is throw out an E. Now, if they keep pursuing, I'll try to kill. And I don't think they will keep pursuing because they know better. But they might Baron off this, which it is what it is. And that's just them getting caught like idiots. And there's nothing we can do about that. I think they might do that. We'll, I'll, just, I'll just head back. I don't want to do nothing stupid. So it looks like they got two people right here. It looks like they're not gonna go for Baron. So as long as all we gotta do now is defend. But like I said, I don't like these people. <laughs> and I'm gonna hide right here. Easy guys his ult up. Easy's up now. I don't think Aniva's gonna do anything really fucking stupid because they're playing very safe. This is the point where they're panicking. They are like, oh shit, we don't wanna. We don't want to lose, so now we're going to play smart. He didn't take the birds, and see, this is stupid. If you ever go to your enemy jungle, try to take the birds, because all I'm going to do, kill the birds, so war goes off. Where's the ward at? Oh, right here. Free war kill. Like, little shit like that makes a big difference. That's why I always try to take the bird. If I'm warding on that side, I'll try to take the birds. Cassopia just took blue. There's a trap there. You know, I just better eat this trap because I don't want this coming back later bothering me. Oh, Nar went in. Um, can he get him? Can he get him? Oh, he did get him. He is gonna get him. No? 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 Didn't get him. That's okay though. Oh, he got hit hard. Alright. Nope, no birds. So I can't get a free ward sweep. 350 on the dragon. We're at three. They're at one. But, I mean, like I said, it's just one bad fight. We're fucked. I don't know why Alistar would back like that. Now you just burnt your flash. Now are you going to go for it? Is Jarv going to actually ult on the support for that shit? If he did, that'd be a very big waste. Which he didn't. Which is smart, actually. But you see some people that go crazy. We almost got that thresh, though. It would have been pretty nice. So here they come again. And I'm gonna sweep right here. And they'll and they'll ward here. They're not stupid. They're definitely gonna ward there. If they don't ward there, they got something wrong with them. So now they look like they're setting up for Baron. They could set up for Baron, or could they just be going for Nar? Cassiopeia has her ult. So if she lands her ult, it's GG. So if she can just land a halfway decent ult, we'll win this next team fight very easy. There goes Aniva. I'm just playing safe. I don't wanna get caught. <laughs> Alright, there goes Thresh. There goes Aniva, everybody else. Getting kind of split up a little bit. There's that. I'm just kind of coming back. Looks like they're fighting. Oh, I need to go. Good. Good. I got my target, which was Kate. Kate was my target that time. Um, ooh, what's going on with Aniva? Let her go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why are they running away? Why are you running away? Aniva, nigga. I don't know, Anivia the bird, bitch. What is Easy doing? Easy needs to stop trying to be an LCS player and get his ass out of there. Okay. I think I'm okay. Yeah, I don't think they're going to try to go for me. If so, that'd be kind of stupid. Damn. He got away. Okay. Oh, hit him. Got him.
And then he hit me. Can you please get him? Can you somebody, can you guys finish them off please? Good, all right. Get Jarvin, Jarvin, get Jarvin. Got the egg too, beautiful, beautiful. What's the timer? 42, they can't take anything. Um, dragon in one. That was okay, could have been better. Hey, what's up, Nassan? Sorry I didn't see you earlier, guys. Hello, everybody. Hello, or, uh, Ornillion. I am not Zara is a dark light. I'll scroll up to see if there's anybody else. I got seven seconds. One Wing Angel. Ostolino. Hope I didn't mispronounce anybody's names and shit. I'm on a two minute delay because I had somebody who was stream sniping me earlier. I just don't want to get any lot. I just want to focus on ranking up. I don't want to have to worry about people watching my stream and shit, even though I'm a nobody, you know. Unless you're talking about that Diablo. <laughs> uh, things I do. Okay. So I have my ult up. I think the other team is ready to fight, doing some stupid shit. So some stupid shit's about to go down, so I gotta get ready. I'm gonna have to wait to see what Wukong's gonna do. Here comes Wukong. I got my target. That was really good. That was real good. So they took a really stupid fight. Now we're gonna go ahead, we got Dragon on four stacks. And uh, now we're about to take Baron. Terry as well too. So I was happy I got my target. Then I remembered his. I'm, I'm actually remembering to zone a lot more, which is really good to save my ass. All mid. So we got uh four dragons, and we also got uh they only got one. Um, we're leading right now by one kill. But, I mean, the main thing is just we were able to solidify that. I'm doing pretty good. 13 for 5. Could be a little bit better, though. 5 deaths is kind of unnecessary. I usually try to go for only 2 deaths per match. Not that that's actually going to happen, but that's what I try to actually go for. Ooh. Got her. Oh, why would you knock him away? Let me throw the E on that bitch. Q him. He's dead. Got him. Thresh? What Thresh trying to do? Is Thresh gonna die? Nah. End it. Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah. I, I zone you too early. I should have waited. He's dead. Okay. Well, we didn't get inhibitor. I, I told him to end. We were rushing too much. I got too excited. Starting to hit full item builds. Let me get my home guard. Then I can upgrade my my trinket, my little vision trinket, and I can go from there. 
three minutes for Fifth Dragon. Yeah, that would definitely is there. But I got Flash. I got uh, I got my ult up. My Flash and my ult are pretty. If you if you're fiddlesticking out Flash, that just that's one of the most dangerous things you could have if you understand like okay, I know what distance I can be far away from my team so I can ult then Flash and be and right up in the like other team's face. It's also pretty nice for diving too. Like right here, like if they fight, if they fight, I can get them. If they fight. So right here. Got him. Fuck that bitch. No, you're not going nowhere, bitch. You're mine. Oop. Zonius. Kill that hoe. Got him. That's why I like Flash. Because Flash on on a on that, at least for fiddlesticks, it's so powerful. Because you could be so far away. And people think they're safe. And you can just straight up just merc them. So that was pretty good. We ended at 13, 16, 17. Uh, I felt that we did carry it. Easy was able to get back in the game. So I'm pretty happy about that. So, I mean, that's what I talk about, man. You just got to play OP champs. And Fiddlesticks is pretty fucking overpowered right now for the jungle. Um, he's really good. And he, can, he got a pencil. And, uh, you know, and that's just what it's about. So it worked out pretty well. Um, the Nar was 7 total 20. He wasn't that good. He was pretty shitty. I think the Alistar was pretty shitty too. Like, not to be a dick, but I mean, their attitudes are terrible. He was bitching about, like, oh, you know, fiddlesticks, you're not doing anything. You know, Alistar was like, oh, the 80 carry is horrible. And now you look at Easy. He's 16 4, 16, 4, 16. So he ended up, or I'm sorry, 16, 4, 17. So he ended up doing pretty well, but. I mean, like I said, if you want to call somebody an idiot or yell at your screen, that's fine. But when you, once you start, like, telling people that shit, it's, it, I just notice it just doesn't help. I mean, even sometimes, even I still type shit out every once in a while. Like, I get mad and shit, but that's just how it goes.